Make sure you watch this entire video. Absolutely free game breakdown Wednesday night action. It's almost the end of June, June 28th, and we're uh, about a week away from the All-Star break. Things are really heating up in baseball, and uh, games are really starting to matter more and more, and we like this time of year a lot. Before I dig into this game, make sure you subscribe to the page, turn those notifications on, hit that like button, and leave us a comment. Become part of that coveted comment crew. Comments been a little bit low lately, but we still got some life. I know, uh, you know, football and basketball season always have more comments than baseball season. It's a natural thing, but we still got our tried and true um, commenters showing us the love. Let's look at Bill's last video, which was a nice little winner, the over in the Red Sox Marlins game. Bill only got three comments. Lauren Bush, Jeremy B, and Brother Boomin. Thank you guys for commenting on that video, but come on, guys, give Bill a little bit more love than that. Anyway, let's dig right into this Rays Diamondbacks game. These two teams just played last night. Arizona took the first game of the series eight to four behind Corbin Carroll and Christian Walker back to back home runs in the bottom of the first to score five runs in the first inning. It's really hard to come back after that. Tampa Bay has a 54 and 28 record on the year. Um, they've dropped six of their last 10. They are still first in the AL East. They're averaging 5.5 runs and 8.9 hits per game. They're batting 264, 337 on base percentage, 462 slugging. First in stolen bases, third in majors in the home in the home run category of 124. So really good stuff there. Now the pitchers in uh, for, for this Tampa Bay team are first in runs allowed and hits per game. 3.8 runs allowed, 7.4 hits per game. So this Tampa team is really good. I mean, they're not, you know, they started off great. They're not playing their best ball right now, but they're still overall a very good team. They're second in ERA, 3.464. They're fourth in whip, 1.19. Um, they're not a big strikeout team, but they've only surrendered 85 home runs this year. And you have Zach Elfin on the mound looking for his 10th win. The Diamondbacks, on the other hand, first in the division as well, 48 and 32. They've won six of their last 10. They're putting up 5.2 runs per game, nine hits, 265 batting average. They are third in home runs with 95. Um, and I'm sorry, they're, they're, um, Third in stolen bases with 80, and they have 95 home runs. The pitching crew is allowing 4.7 runs, 8.6 hits per game. Collective ERA of 4.42, 1.34 whip. All really good stuff here. The Rays are going to look to rebound after last, night, last night's loss. It's going to be a perfect opportunity against a pitcher like Davies, who has allowed a whopping 21 runs in his past three starts. Tampa Bay is 29 and 16, 16 against teams above 500, so they seem to come to play harder against the better teams. I think they're going to come out swinging to tie up this series one-to-one. -one. We're going with the Tampa Bay Rays money line. Lock it and clock it, guys. And if you want more than that, like I said, subscribe to this page. Turn those notifications on. Go to our Instagram. Check out our Instagram. Go to our TikTok. We post games on there that are not always on this YouTube page here. And if you want to see what the paid players uh, paid players column is all about, what the memberships are all about, go ahead and click that link in the description and sign up for a VIP trial. I'll see you guys tomorrow.